Do you like machining? Do you like machinery repair? Do you like watching a guy that thinks he can repair anything but has no clue what he's doing? I know zero about working on tail stocks. This is probably gonna be a lot harder than I thought. If so, this is definitely the video for you. Welcome to the channel, I'm Randy, and this is my $550 engine lathe. So one of the things that was wrong with this lathe when I got it in is the tail stock. So the tail stock moves, um, the brake works, you can stop it, slide it back and forth, no problems there. But when I go to unlock the quill, it stays locked. And you can see here like the brake, when I pull that, that pin moves right there. So it's obviously connected to the handle. And this must be the pin um, for the locking mechanism here. And it doesn't move when I move the handle back and forth. So I think that got stuck, rusted stuck, and somebody hit it with something, obviously. You can see from that little handle there, and they broke the handle off. And I did everything. I unscrewed all the screws, tried to put oil in there, tried to go through the whole thing and, and get it loose, and nothing worked. So here we are. I know zero about working on tail stocks, so we're going to learn this together. This particular one has four screw holes in the front on this plate, and in the back here it has four screw holes on this plate. And I believe I can take the, the wheel off here to access that. Now, I don't know if all this is going to slide out. I would assume that there's a ball screw inside of here um, on this handle. And this might be like a cam to lobe or something. When you tighten it down, it, it cams forward and locks the quill into place. But we're going to find out together. So if any of you guys know anything about these and have tore one of these apart before, leave it in the comments below because there's a strong possibility that I might not be able to get this fixed in this video and your comments will really help me out a lot. So first things first, let's start getting these end caps off and maybe this handle off and see what's behind there. I pre-soaked all these bolts, so hopefully I'll be able to get this out uh, with no problem. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know exactly how that front plate comes off. Let's find out. Oh, there it goes. Came right off. Okay, so that's zero help. <laughs> that was literally just like a beauty ring. This is probably gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Let's see if I can get this handle off. Oh, there it goes. Well, that was not tight at all. I think someone was in here before because all this stuff is uh coming off really easy so i doubt the the penetrant that i put on there is what loosened all this up that easy again i have absolutely no clue what i'm doing so if i'm doing something wrong don't hold it against me okay it's got a little key in here make sure i don't lose that Let's see how tight or loose these bolts are. Oh man, they're barely even on there. They're not even hand tight. Somebody was definitely in here. Yeah, they're barely even tight at all. And I didn't spray these back here with penetrant. That one didn't even, that one too. It didn't even take the socket to twist them. I have no idea what I'm gonna find when I get in here. I've never opened one of these before. There we go. So I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's some thrust bearings inside. So there's one side of the thrust bearing on this end cap, and here's the middle thrust bearing, and then the back side. So there's the middle. That would go like this. And then here's this end here. But so now that I'm looking in there, this is about as far as I can access. I'm not sure how to pull this whole assembly out of here, um, especially with that being stuck. So this may be a dead end right here as well. Well, no, that actually looks like a nut right there that's kind of preloaded. Maybe I could stick something in there and turn it and on, on thread it and pull it out. What do you guys think? My other thought, honestly, was to grab a bolt and weld it right here and then maybe grab a socket and maybe I could break it free. But my thought was, if it was rusted so solid that they broke this handle, I would assume it's just going to break right off. And I could also heat that up. But if I heat that up, I don't know what's inside of this thing. 
So there may be like rubber grommets or something in there that I'm not aware of. And I don't want to risk melting anything in there or like those bearings that I just pulled out of there. Okay, so I actually just glanced down in here and there's a little button down in there. I don't know if you guys could see it or not in the camera, but there's a little button and I stuck this screwdriver on it and just tapped on it with a hammer. You can see here the whole thing came loose. Wow, what a score. Okay, so I don't have to take all that apart. It will actually all come out. Let's slide this out and see what the inside looks like. Be very careful here. Oh yeah, there's a groove underneath there. Oh, so here it is. So there is a locking mechanism there. And when I turn this, I can see it's actually turning inside of there. And there's this kind of keyway thing here that kind of floats inside of there. Oh, I can feel it from underneath here, actually. And that, I guess, keeps everything in line. But this, I think, is supposed to come up and down, in and out, and lock this thing back and forth. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now the handle's actually coming out. Let's see. Okay, now I think I can take that out of there. Yep, it's coming out. But I don't know if I should. But obviously it's not working. It's not tightening up like it's supposed to tighten up. But, like I said, I don't know if I should now that it's loose. Now that I've hit this center button inside of here and loosened this cartridge up, let me slide the assembly back in there real quick, put it all back together, and see if it actually works. Because it may actually work now. Getting that key lined up is tricky. All right. Man, that was a pain to line that up. Now let's see what's up with getting all this back together. So these went like this. And this is the back thrust bearing. I am not aware of which way is up or down or if it matters. Boom. Okay, that's far enough on there. Like I said, I don't have much of a preload on those bearings, but I just want to see if this will work. <sighs> see? Still stuck. I just don't get it. Ugh. It must be the inside of that cartridge because it's supposed to spin and it's not wanting to allow it to spin. So when I pull the whole assembly out, the whole assembly will come out, but that does nothing for the turning of this handle. As you can see, that's... Whoa. Oh, I think I just got it. What? So here, now it's locked. Ugh. Now it's not. What? That's it. Check it out. Wow, that was pretty lucky. There we go. Boom. Nice. So now I assume just uh, I have to tighten these, put some preload on those, and uh, we should be good to go. So let's see if it holds a chuck. Here's one that came with it. I'm not quite sure how you do this on these, but I think you just spin them out until... They grab, I think, and you pull them back and they tighten. I don't know, I'm not a manual guy. Is that it? No. Oh, there we go. Okay, got it. Now it's in there. Yep, it's in there locked. This has it locked in place. Um, this locks it in place. Nice, man. Yeah! Score. So check it out if I wanna do like some drilling I just loosen that and just come in and come out. Nice. So all I gotta do now is preload these uh, back to where they were and it should work. I got a piece of stock in here. Let's get a drill bit and a center drill and see if this works. Safety glasses, let's turn this down a little bit on the face here because it's rough. And let's see if we can drill. It's drilling. All right. I'd say that's a pretty good 
spot. Alright, let's try to drill. Cool, because I'm not a manual guy. This is the first time I've been able to actually feel the, the quill when I'm pushing it in and out. That's pretty cool. Boom! There you have it. I call that a pretty good hole. Well, I call that fixed. What do you guys think? Did I do it right? Did I not do it right? Is there something I should have did different? So the next issue I need to address on this lathe in a future video is this cross slide. So this right here, when I loosen this bolt, um, you can see it's real tight and jerky. And I went through and I oiled everything and you can see these oil certs right here are knocked out. So I think the little balls and springs went down in there and it's just not smooth. So like, you know, if I wanna turn it and do a taper by hand and turn this by hand, it's gonna be real choppy and it's gonna take a long time because it's it's kind of a two-hander here to turn this. So the next thing I think I need to do is take this apart and look inside of there and see if I can fix that. That's about it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Also, as you know, it's getting to be winter time. It's freezing cold outside. I did have these prestige manufacturing skull caps made. One size fits all. They're super soft when you wash them, and they're made of really good quality. I use them for everything. And I haven't tore them up yet. See you guys on the next one.